What's up, Monkans fam? Hope you all are doing great. It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while since I've, post, I've posted. Yeah. Cause you're kind of down. I Because your girl kind of feeling down. I know. As I said it in a video of um, depression. And, uh, uh, what was it? My last video. I think it was my last video. Where I spoke about that. Yeah. Your girl has been on mood swing. Probably mild depression. I don't know. I don't know. Not diagnosing myself. Yeah. But today. I am at the Royal Mineral River. The last. Uh, I posted a video prob um, maybe three weeks ago where I was at the Royal Mineral River. It was fun. The kids were here having fun. People were watching. You're not going to see, if you watch it now, you're not going to see see the full video because while I was here, they were playing music on the background. Um, YouTube picked it up and so they spoke to me about, you know, the copyright laws and all of that. Blah, blah, blah. So they asked me either to take it down or they can cut it down. I do are allowed them to cut it down which they did and they cut out basically all the fun stuff all the fun part but it's still there you can go ahead and watch it yeah so to, but today i'm here and not as happy not happy at all to be honest it's not i'm not happy because we have lost a life very what three days ago yeah and it's just sad 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 case so for those who miss it let me show you the river again and then i will discuss with you what allegedly happened here three days ago As you know the river people is always here. If you look, you can see vehicle here washing vehicle here. All right, guys. So now remember, I told you that somebody allegedly drowned here at the river. This is where the person would have made the attempt. This is a hole. The person would have made the attempt, you know, to take her life and allegedly her child's life. It didn't happen. So I'm gonna show you where she went because some persons were here. My friend was here along with two other persons, two of his friends. So because of that, she didn't get the opportunity. I'm gonna explain it in details to you. Yes, so this is the wall. Her slippers is still here. So let me show you. Uh-huh, her slippers. I don't know. I'm not gonna wait on you though, mommy, no. No, mommy, me have pot on fire. Guys, so guys, me I cook, and me just let me pot on fire and drop mommy a river. So me I go back home, because me don't want the food burn up. All right, so this would be the young lady's slippers. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can show you because she went. It's alleged that she went further up top, up there, to commit the act. So I'm gonna explain to you in details, huh? I know I'm gonna drive past there. So, all right, so let me go up there and show you where the alleged incident happened. All right, guys, so I'm just cruising to where the incident I heard that the hole that the incident took place in is way deeper than the one I show you because the young man in the water told me that that hole can't cover him but the one where the young lady had, um, alleged, allegedly drowned herself is way deeper So they go and go three guys so this is this is where the incident happened so let me just going to step outside a little to see because I, I never really use this side don't mind when I come to the river we just go straight down to the bottom and some people use down that side and some people use up here all right Okay, so this is oh, so this is the wall. I don't know if you see it, it's deep, it is very deep. All right. so, this is it. so now I'm gonna tell you the story where and what they said happened, and it's a busy river, as I said before. 
busy. They keep party here on the river three times, three times a day. Yeah. All right, guys. So I'm back home. Yeah. Check on my parts. Everything is good. All right, that's good. Yeah. So let me get into what I, I was told allegedly happened. I was home. Uh, it was Saturday, Saturday morning. Yes, when a friend called me and told me that he was at the river along with two other friends Friday night about 7 p.m. somewhere around there when they saw a young lady showed up at the river with a little boy in her hand, which was about four to five years old. They said they, said they were there talking because they just finished washing their cars, they had a bath, and you know, a man, a man. I'm stuck on the riverside a reason. It was dark too, he said, but they didn't feel like going home. So they were there talking. So they said when they saw this young lady, somebody they don't know, because they said they don't know her. She walked past them with their little boy. So they assumed that she's, you know, there to have a bath and all of that. So they were there talking and paying attention until they said, he told me that he heard, they heard the little boy screamed out and ran you know out of the water over where they are like and he was crying that the water is cold he said it because the child was crying the mother came out of the water and asked them to keep the little boy for her she's going up by the top the top would be where i showed you the last you know the last hole i showed you so they said that they were there talking she left her slippers as you see she left her slippers with them, so she left her slippers along with the child and went up top. So they were there talking because they assumed that she went up there to have a bath. You know? So they said they were talking for, for a while until kind of hit them and said, But no man, this lady should have been and come back already. And they said that it even though it crossed their mind, they said that maybe she, you know, she just up there and already to come yet. So they're talking to the child, the child was here telling them about his mother. You know, and you know, children are fascinated by vehicles, so he was fascinated by the cars and was there telling them how much he's going to buy a car, like the one that he was sitting in, because he was sitting in one of them cars. And he liked the one that he was sitting in for his mother when he gets older. You know, so the little boy that said is very talkative, very polite, they said. So they were there enjoy, enjoying talking to him. So, as I said, they became concerned because they realized that the mother hadn't, you know, the mother has not turned up for the child or anything. So, he said he turned on his car, like, just to, you know, to look if they, you know, if you see anybody up the river having a bath, because it was dark. So, he said when he turned on his light, he can't see anybody up there bed. So, they must say, no man, something off. But they're still not thinking the worse. Still, they're talking and all of that. Then he said he became concerned again, so they, sh they, they turn on the lights, still don't see anybody up the river bathing. So can I use the light, move the car to see if, you know, if you see anybody up, wash down or come down the river, stream, you don't see anything. So he said that he left. Because he said that he had to go and he told the other guy. Because the woman, to be honest, he said that the woman asked, even though all three of them were standing there, the woman kind of asked one of them to like, give an eye on them for me. So he said that he turned, he turned to his friend and said, you know, so I'm going to go on Because we can't wait no longer. So he left his friends there with the child. He said, the friend called him back and I said, you sure it's up the river stream? The, yes, the lady went, he said, yeah man, up there she go. That's why I turned on the car light and I look. So he must say, you know, say, I know the lady don't come back. So he said, you know, can you pick the guy to put on? Out of the station. So they took the child to the police station. The child was able to tell the officers where he lives and all of that. So they took the child home. And when they came back to the river, they found a young lady's body in the deep pool that I showed you. Yes, so. But what saddened me is when I said to him, I had I asked him, I said, but you didn't get suspicious when you see a lady show up that hour at the night. She not come from the area. She has a baby, because call it a baby. 
I said for me that would be kind of red flag. You know, if you say something, I would have concerned though why a woman alone I show up a river in a night with a baby. But they didn't think anything of it. Again, when the child ran out of the water, I said it was the child in clothes. I said, yeah. I said, but the child ran out of the water. He's unable to explain what happened. But for me, I believe that the child ran out of the water and was crying because he figured out that his mother was trying to drown him. Yes, I, I honestly believe, and I could be wrong, that she showed up there because the Marco, the community that she comes from, she had to take a taxi to come to the river. She could have known the river because I said before, and the river, they keep parties and all of like that. So it's a well known part of the river. People come to come bathe, wash car, all of those things. So you understand? The person that is associated, that she's associated with, I was told, or the child's father, I don't know, or stepfather, he would have access to because so he himself would have you know, come to the river to wash because so she would have known it. But as I said before, I would be, uh, for me, I would kind of suspicious if she showed up there that I was the night with the child, so something would, uh, is, would be off. When the child ran out of the water and I told him, I said the child didn't run out of the water because the water was cold. As I said, the child ran out of the water because the child, the mother, I believe, was trying to drown him, but he was not able to explain all of that to the guys. So he was just crying, saying that the water is cold. All right, I said when the mother left the slipper there, we never concerned, so why she come and come beard? And I go leave her slippers and walk barefoot go all the way up top. Because river rocky, it tough. Why am I going to leave my slippers? You see, my slippers still there. Why am I going to leave my slippers and then walk with my slippers come river and then take them off and walk barefoot, go beard? But I guess when, let me, let me say this, suicide sometimes are the furthest thing from our mind that even when we see the signs, we don't even think. You know? We don't think that, we don't think that somebody's going to do it. And to them, the girl look normal. And I have to say, Suicide people doesn't have a look. They do not have a look. They don't have a look. So we can't use the look to tell, you know? So it's just sad. It's a sad situation. I feel sorry for the child. I feel sorry that she felt that, you know, she felt that she was in a dark place, that she had no way out and all of like that. And then we have this tendency, and I beg people to stop it. People would rather buy a goat casket and cook big food than to buy a two pound of rice or two pound of flour. I don't understand. People will watch your struggle. Watch your struggle and criticize. But glad felt very you and cry. Because this young lady must have been because I can't do my own call investigation to find out where she is from so I was the one who found out where she is from and kind of told, uh, told my friend you know and who she's associated with and it said that she's a young lady that is very quiet she's not originally from the community here in Canada she's from St. Catherine back then I saw you know on Facebook uh, people from her community where she's from so she moved here mm -hmm. saying that she was a quiet girl and even here the people from, from her community said that she's a very quiet girl you know, and it's just sad that we miss the signs or we operate so much as a people that people don't feel comfortable to come to us and tell us when they're having a bad day, tell us when they're not feeling well, out of fear that we will use it against them. It's sad to know that we will watch people suffer, watch people go to bed hungry and criticize, but yet buy a goat and buy chickens, liquor, to bury them. They have to do better. We have to do better as a people. We have to be more caring to each other. You know, we, we, we must make ourselves trusting that people can come to us and talk to us about anything without feeling like they're going to be ridiculed or their business will be all over in the community. Or feel like they will be judged. And, and for persons, if you feel like you don't have anybody in the immediate surrounding to where you can't trust, leave. Drive go somewhere, go tell people your problem. Empty your problem, pass somebody far out and come back home. Talk it out. Seek help. Seek help. We have this thing when people commit suicide, and, 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 and I've heard it over and over with this young lady. We tend to, people say that, she wicked, no. 
It's not wickedness. It's a mental illness. I sh I'm sure that that lady felt like she was doing herself a favor and her son a favor. She did not want to live. She, she didn't feel safe in the world. She didn't feel loved by the world and for those around her. And she's saving herself and saving her son because I'm sure she, 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 she was saying to herself that she don't want her son to come and go through what she's going through, what she has gone through, I don't know. You understand? So suicide is always a way to save yourself. And it's sad that, yeah, that's, we think of it as a way out, but that it's the reality. It's the reality. People, seek help. Seek help. If you're feeling like you're in a dark place, talk to somebody. If you can't afford professional counseling, because some of us can't afford professional counseling, to be honest. Tell, 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 talk about where you go through and not care. Because uh, listen to me, I'm like this. Me talk, if I have a back problem, you know, me I talk about it, you know, if you want to use it against me for my business, me not care. As it makes me feel better when I talk about my problems. You understand? And, and I'm, it's, ba it's bad if I tell you something and you got blah blah tell the people are you, are you think you can use it against me. It's you look bad, it's not me. It's not me. So sometimes you have to develop this no care attitude and that's where we cry and realize this to me. I want to talk to somebody, I'm going to talk. If I can't afford a professional counselor, I'm going to find the most trusting persons around me and, and, and spill my gut. You know? Spill my gut. As I said before, families, we have to do better when it comes to our loved ones. We cannot prefer to bury them than to provide food for them. You know, we have to pay attention to not just physical needs, but to emotional needs. Yes, if somebody don't there, because trust me, if I, if I were at the river, I do not say that I would prevent her, but I would see so many things as that is me, I me not ask her if she's alright. I'm enough them with it. I'm not curious as to why she's here all the night with the baby. And I like she come there with one male company and she said, well, you know, yeah, she alone. I'm not curious. I'm not asking if she's all right. I'm not picture chat, chat with her. I know I'm always, I'm always taking, the, taking the time out to kind of motivate and encourage people. So, maybe if I were there, just maybe, the outcome would have been different. You know? So yes, yeah, so as I said, the river is beautiful. It's a nice river. And all. It's to understand that, you know, somebody could not enjoy the beauty of it. You know, it's a sad, it's a sad, sad state. Depression is no joke, people. Depression is no joke. Whereas we are facing this pandemic, a lot of us are stuck at home with people. That the only time we have sanity is when we are away from them because they're so toxic, very toxic. So you can imagine. I know a lot of persons are going through it, through some form of depression right now because, as I said before, our safe place is no longer there because we can't go out as we want to because we are practicing social distancing and all of that. So. The places that we used to go to release stress, maybe we used to go to the bar, the hairdressing salon. Probably we used to play two games at bingo. I know. You know, things that we used to do for fun, we can't do it anymore. So you can imagine you're a toxic, living a toxic person. You understand, are having problems in life and you can't find, you, you can't go anymore to enjoy yourself, to distract you from the reality that is weighing you down. You understand, there's no happiness. You can't find happiness now, as I said before, because you're in a situation where your source of happiness has taken away, is taken away from you. You know, it's, it's, just, it's just sad. But as I said before, I'm praying that people stay safe, not just from COVID or coronavirus, or call it coronavirus but stay, stay safe mentally. Check our mental health. Check up on myself. Sometimes I have to check up on myself. Check up on yourself. I know what you do. If you know how to do good, just get help. Get help. Get help. And this is going to teach a lot of us a lesson. If we're with toxic people, we should never be in a relationship or with family member that the only time we're happy is when we're away from them. 
if moving away from somebody is your only chance of happiness, you're with the wrong family or with the, are in the wrong relationship. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. Enough of us use the opportunity right now to examine our environment. How are you doing now? Now that you're here with this person, how are you doing mentally? Is this how you want to spend the rest of your life? So just use, take some positive from this pandemic. Assess our lives, assess ourselves and make some serious decisions. Because there may not be another pandemic, but you never know illness or anything can cause you to stuck with this person again. Or, you know? And you don't want that. You don't want to be stuck with somebody who's going to drain you. Who's going to depress you. So yes guys, so this is it. This is it. I'm going to finish cook my dinner. I'm cooking rice and peas and fish. I didn't cook in a restaurant piece Sunday and if anybody know, you know if a Jamaican thing or a, or a country thing you still want to cook rice and peace on Sunday the week here and don't you know, cook your Sunday dinner it's like you don't cook your Sunday dinner so what I had Sunday was white rice and curry chicken and because of that I just feel like so I can stop me like your Sunday dinner so yes I cook my Sunday dinner now I have a blend cucumber and melon yeah with ginger yes but well, confirm so this is it Take care, be safe, talk to somebody. Remember, don't make depression or COVID-19 kill you. Protect ourselves mentally, spiritually, financially, and phys Did I say physically. Yes. Alright guys, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can go ahead and watch my video. I think it's um taking over country bank and stake over Royal Mino River. I think that's it. You can go ahead and watch it just to see what you know the the, see the different in mood or energy. Alright. Bye. Take care.